heard you were calling for me, Father. What is it? We've just received an urgent message from Captain Leston, the commander of the Elven Knights from Wellant. It sounds like he's seeing a lot of Imperial activity in Claval Crags. You think they're preparing for an attack? We can't say for certain, but it sounds like another group of Wellantine Knights are locked in a standoff in the mountains to the east. We're worried the Empire might try to catch them in a pincer strike, but the Knights can't risk an immediate maneuver. So, I would have your team move in and strike before the enemy can finish their preparations. I understand. Where is the enemy based? The commander will brief you himself. Sir Lester, if you wouldn't mind. Of course. Allow me. For this operation, I ask that you look to Sir Lestin for further instructions. Good luck to you all. Yes, Father. You can count on me. By your leave, Your Majesty. Now, our circumstances are as follows. Lestin, my man! Long time no see! Magnum. Still alive, I see. Jeez, man, cold as ice. Is that any way to greet an old buddy? I was not summoned for my proficiency in greetings, Agnum. I am here to conduct a war. You two are the same as ever, huh? There's something weirdly comforting about it. Ah, Sonia. You seem likewise unchanged. <laughs> Even humans can't change in just a couple months. Oh, but there is something I should mention. We have a new friend with us. Let me introduce you to Yuma. Yuma, this is Lestin. Nice to meet you. Yuma? So, you're the one. You're the vessel of the Shining Dragon, then. I would speak plainly with you. The Shining Dragon's power is a double-edged sword. If wielded improperly, it could just as easily destroy the world as save it. Speak. Are you capable of controlling that power? Oh, I... I, um... Well, that hardly inspires confidence. Barely an answer at all. Then let me make myself clear. If you ever lose control of your power, I will kill you myself. <laughs> you seem surprised. If you pose that much of a threat to your own allies, isn't it natural that you should be eliminated? Brother. Speak, Kirika. I will allow no more disrespect to his radiance. I spoke with no disrespect. It was a statement of fact and nothing more. I've opposed using the Shining Dragon's power from the very beginning. You know this. I do, and my feelings remain unchanged. His radiance will save Astoria. I'm sure of it. Well, back to the matter at hand. If you examine this map, you'll note the enemy is gathering at this point in the cracks. I see. All right. If it's around there, I think we can drive them back. They won't cause your unit any trouble. Our lives are in your hands. We must avoid an ambush from the rear flank at all costs. Now, I should be going. My presence is needed on the front lines. Understood. Leave the rest to us. We'll be setting out immediately. He'll kill me? He talks like I don't already know the Shining Dragon is dangerous. But no, I have to show him I can control it. If I work hard and train myself, I know I can do it. 